No, do you fancy a lunchtime pint? Uh, maybe not, uh, because Britain's boozers are under threat. More than 150 pubs have closed their doors for good in England and Wales this year so far, just in these few months. Rising food costs, skyrocketing rocketing energy bills being blamed uh, as the end to the energy support uh, scheme uh, comes into play. Uh, just a week ago, of course. Let's get more now with our economics and business editor, Liam Halligan, with On The Money. And it's not the booze, but the, um, the figures that are eye-watering, uh, particularly this energy cost, as you've been sort of indicating to us. Yeah, a lot of pubs are closing their doors. I personally think that's incredibly sad. Pubs aren't just places where local people are employed. They're where po local people meet, they Social do business, centers, yeah. they help each other, they fall in love, they, fall, they, they, they have rows with each other. Yeah. You know, sort of clearing house of human nature, and particularly outside the big cities, pubs are really socially diverse as well, aren't they? So let's have a look at these numbers. They don't make particularly edifying reading. Between January and March this year, there were 153 pub closures, or 51 a month. Now, if you compare that with last year, but all of last year, January to December, there were 386. So that's just 32 pub closures a month. I say just because that's pretty eye-watering. But mm. we're now up to 51 pub closures a month. Why is this happening? Well, on the next graphic, you can see that utility bills, now this government support for um, businesses, almost all businesses, has disappeared from the beginning of this month. A survey of pub landlords say they expect their utility bills to go up by an absolutely whopping 82% now. That's about 18 and a half grand a year for the average pub, a huge cost. Beer prices are also up that the breweries charge the publicans by 10 to 13%. Landlords don't always want to pass that cost on, of course, well, because punter, yeah. punters won't pay it mm. because it's such a huge increase. And also lots of pubs we know... Uh, the pub co's, the companies that own them, often big listed companies, they're selling them off for development, for flats and housing and so on. And once a pub has closed, it's never going to... You know, no one's going to knock down a block of flats and build yeah. a pub, are they? Yeah. And yeah. often these pubs are hundreds and hundreds of years old, so it's yeah. pretty sad. Lo lovely old buildings, of course. Um, and an indication that, you know, things may get worse still because we've got all these indications that people are uh, buying more food from supermarkets, they're buying yep. their booze in supermarkets, so there's more digital subscriptions. They're staying home, in other words. A couple of hours ago, Mark, we reported on the retail sales numbers, yep. didn't we, in March 2023. Retail sales as a whole were up 5.1% um, compared to February 2022, but food sales, food and drink, were up 8.1%. And that's because more and more people, as the cost of living squeeze continues... They're not going out. Restaurants and pubs are having to charge more for reasons that we've just explained. And so they're staying at home. They're having you know, dinners at home. They're drinking at home rather than going out. And that's what's happening. Yeah. And that's another nail in the coffin for pubs, if you like. Look, there are some success stories. In the small town where I live in North Essex, there was a pub that had closed down. It was about to be redeveloped as flats. And the community bought it. Then COVID mm. hit. It's called the Railway Arms. And they, it's now a huge success. It's packed. Mm. It's just won North Essex Pub of the Year from Camera, the, the campaign for Real, Real Ale. Yeah. And those guys really know their stuff. Yeah. So you can turn these things around, but that is obviously an exception when you've got 51 pubs closing a month. Yeah. And as you say, I mean, you know, there's a social aspect to this, particularly in villages where they're, they're a social centre. But, of course, the other thing is the employment they offer. And if these pubs are closing, uh, a lot of youngsters particularly who are, you know, um, trying to make weekend jobs or, or, or evening jobs, that's going to disappear. Working at your local pub, for a lot of youngsters, it's a right of passage. passage. Yeah, you yeah. learn a huge amount. You see human nature up close. Yeah. You see people good and bad, you have to deal with customers, you have to deal with cash, you have to turn up on time. But also, for a lot of people, maybe at the end of their working life or maybe mums who want a part-time job, with all respect, you know, to work in a pub is a great thing to be able to do because it's sociable, yeah. it's, it's reasonable money, and you really feel that you're putting something back into the community. And you get a few Re tips as well, maybe. You get a few lucky. tips. Yeah. Really yeah. bad news that the, mm. the, the headline here, the closure of pubs in this country is accelerating. Right. And let's hope that that's reversed soon.